Four radio DJs, three cities, two old mutual experts, one mission to find out if you can afford today's dinner tomorrow. Today, let's meet Tracy Lang from KFM Cape Town. Hello, Jack Lydon Thurston. So great to have you here today. Tell me a little bit about your family life. What is that like? So we have a young daughter and she's very busy and we love spending time outdoors. We also enjoy cooking and eating together as a family at home. Cooking every night? Most nights we, we like to make our own. We've got the ingredients for one of our favorite family meals, which is chicken stir fry. How often do you make this? At least once a week. At least once yes. a week. Thurston and Jacqueline from Cape Town love to cook a chicken stir fry. The total cost of the ingredients come in at 381 Rand 90. Thurston and Jacqueline enjoy the chicken stir fry. What will they be paying in the future for that? In 10 years' time, they will be paying just over 600 Rand for their meal. And in 20 years' time, that will now be bumped up to just over 1,000 Rand. And in 30 years' time, that's approximately 1,500 Rand that they're looking at. It's a bit concerning, isn't it? It is, yeah. Okay, so keeping everything in mind that we just found out, we also have to think about retirement, right? Are you preparing for it at all? I've got my retirement savings um, uh, formalised, I suppose, and, and Jacqueline's got her own retirement. Um, but I think, you know, together we are, uh, we are preparing for it. And obviously, added to that is the fact that we've got a little one, right? So. So, not, not, not necessarily her retirement. <laughs> Our estimations indicate that they may only be able to afford 34% of the ingredients that they need in 25 years' time. However, they could plow more into their retirement savings so that they're able to afford the meal that they love comfortably. Currently, if you'd like to purchase this meal in about 25 years, you'll only be able to afford 34% of it. Wow. wow. I mean, it, it is obviously a shocking realization, but I think at the same time, it's it's good to have the knowledge, right? And, and then try and do something about it. I think without it, otherwise you can't. Absolutely. So now you can make a plan, knowledge is power, and I will send that home with you, because at least you don't just have to take 34% now. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate it. The reality in South Africa, for various reasons, is that most of us are not as prepared as we'd like to think for retirement. And that is a harsh reality, Kinsani. It is indeed quite harsh, especially knowing that within the 40 years that we've got to work, the price of a grocery basket will actually rise by a staggering 870%. Having said that, I think it is important for us to perhaps share some financial tips with the audience. I have two tips that I'd like to share. The first one is about planning your budget. Know what your income is, know what your expenses are, and then you can factor into that your retirement savings. The second one for me is to start small. Starting small actually encourages consistency and a disciplined way of saving. It's important to start somewhere than nowhere at all. To latch onto the theme of starting, my tip is really around starting as early as possible because then you get to enjoy the beauty of compound interest and that is when the money that you put away earns interest and that interest earns growth on itself. And now the fourth thing for me is the importance of partnering with a financial advisor who knows what they're doing. They'll lead you along the journey towards a very comfortable retirement. And lastly, it's the importance of finding a product that can really adapt and adjust to life's twists and turns, because as we know, nothing in life is predictable. So you want a product that can really cater to your very specific needs and get it with a reputable financial services provider. And there you go, five simple and practical tips to ensure that you have today's dinner tomorrow. Old Mutual Life Assurance Company Limited is a licensed FSP and life insurer.